I lost count of the day. Today is Wednesday. I do try to not bring it up often because, you know, I know there's been a lot of news going on and many people sharing about it. I know it can sometimes cause anxiety among some people so I don't want to you to come on my video and feel that, you know, so I do try to stay away from that topic but um, yeah, I just want to mention first but today is the first day of the restriction of movement in Malaysia which is going to be till 31st of March. Also, my face is like really red because I just did yoga and then I did like a 15 minutes of full body workout so that is why I am sweating and my face is really red I just want to say that it is like a normal day or normal week for me because my social life is basically just me sitting at home and doing my own stuff so it doesn't really affect that as much as compared to those that go to office but there's this unsettling feeling in my myself with everything that is going on like it's normal but it's also not in a way like I know I am aware that there are things going on in the world and it's not great you know <sighs> so yeah it's been a long intro but I'm gonna go shower now do my skincare and catch up with you again so I just showered and then I saw this drawer that I always walk past but I never thought of you know stopping by <laughs> I saw this one this used to be my favorite teddy bear look at how small it is now <gasps> Oh my god, this is so cute. I want to take it out. Oh my god, this is so cute. Can you see the size of it? Oh my god, and I have this minion that I didn't really like. <gasps> oh my god. Is this Alfred? I don't know, but this was also my favorite. Oh my god, my ex bought me that. Remember when the Hello Kitty McDonald range used to be like a thing that everyone would just collect and I also really wanted it. So my ex bought this for me. He bought that for me. Oh, you can't see a thing. He bought that for me too. <laughs> so we just stuff everything here. Oh. My god, this is cruel. I just showered, did my skincare, and I also put on some light makeup on, which is really weird because normally I don't just put on some light makeup on even if I'm at home, but today I just want to feel more put together and more presentable. Because sometimes if you just go on days without making effort to, you know, look presentable, especially if you work from home, you know? And I'm also planning to just stay upstairs here in my room for today because it's really noisy downstairs and I don't want that for today, you know what I mean? So yeah, I took up my laptop, it's over there. And also before that, I thought I would just do a little quick unboxing of some of the shoes that I bought recently. Let me just put you somewhere. Okay, just disclaimer, I bought all this with my own money, they don't know I exist. So I think earlier this month, Asma collaborated with Mel & Molly, which is a local brand founded by Fashion Valley and Vivi Yusuf. So yeah, I've never bought anything from their store before. I saw this collaboration, this collection. I don't normally have this urge to get shoes. This collection just makes me want to get everything. I bought two pairs. I bought it in the week of launch itself but then it came to me I had to return one of it because the size wasn't right and it took them like 10 days to do everything and I had to follow up with them because otherwise I don't think I would have received it by today long story short it took me almost like 2 to 3 weeks to finally unbox it in front of the camera even though I already opened it but still I thought I would just do a quick unboxing okay now I absolutely love all of them. I was like, okay, let me just get two pairs first. And the first one is the Always Be My Heels in Oat. Ta da! Isn't this the most cutest looking shoe ever? I love them so much. Initially, right, I wanted to get the yellow one, but then when I tried, tried it on in stores it kind of make me look really pale because i'm very fair it makes my whole leg look really really dead lah. i know it reminds some of you of dumpling even my sister said that it looks like a dumpling i wouldn't necessarily get this for myself but when asma styled it she makes it look so feminine but still chic and casual and minimal so up my style so i was like okay i need that because i do realize that i only wear sneakers and i am a little bit more feminine actually but i don't really portray it through my dressing you know what I mean? <laughs> so yeah, I'm trying to wear more dresses, wear more prints, carry handbags. I'm trying to flip this. Okay, I'm just wearing my slippers. <laughs> it's so cute. Oh, so cute. And I think the pointy heels just makes it look so so flattering. Oh, so cute. I actually really love the yellow one as well. It's I just love yellow clothing. Like I have a yellow bag on the way now, so I'm really excited. Okay, moving on. I've been rambling a lot on just one shoe, but I do love it. So the next pair is actually this. You've got ruffled sandal in dusty pink. 
pink. I absolutely love it. It's so girly, but it's so cute and casual. Okay, let me try it on for you. Can you see? The lighting is so bad. I love it. <laughs> I think this year, I'm just really into shoes. Like really into shoes. I want to dress up more. I think last year, I was really quite lost. Earlier last year was when I went on my recovery journey. So I wasn't feeling inspired to dress up. feel like I don't look good in anything. I'm happy for myself for coming such a long way. It, it wasn't easy to be honest. It wasn't easy and it's still not easy. I can't wait to wear this. Ah, I can't wait to wear this. Also, I want to point out something but I also don't feel like pointing it out because maybe after I point it out, you would just not stop staring at it. When I used to have short hair, right, I always make sure that the front part is longer. So right now, look at this awkward. It's like extra long. <laughs> look at it. I'm gonna go edit now and catch up with you later. Bye. a flattering angle at all <laughs> but hey guys oh this is so nice it is currently 3 p.m i just have been editing for the past two and a half hour actually i almost gave up i almost wanted to just take a quick nap or just go watch a movie but i went on editing is really very tiring i'm currently exporting now the vlog the tesco vlog which is crazy i went to tesco at 8 a.m in yesterday's vlog the situation was definitely the most craziest one so go and check out the last vlog in case you have missed it already i'll leave the card up here and now i am gonna go reply comments i actually recognize people that comment frequently like frequent commenters like amir um there's one guy that always very early one cairo something with a lion profile picture then there's rachel and then there's yuki okay so this comment on my last vlog saying you passed that exam before you start study too yes i did pass i got a b which is quite surprising actually i was just i don't know i didn't think that i would get a b <laughs> to be honest i think in high school i just always aim for a and i'm always into studying now that i'm in college i don't really actually enjoy studying i think in high school all we have to do is just go to school study get a sit for spm you know whereas now that i'm in uni i have many things to do i found out that i don't actually like studying see i don't even aim for an a for the first time i'm just aiming for a pass <laughs> But yeah, to those that are wondering, yes, I did pass and I got a B. Okay, everybody stop. Let's eat. Okay, so I just uploaded the Tesco vlog. Now that everything is done, I also just posted this fizzy smoothie thing on my Instagram. Wait, I can't hear. What should we have? Cheetos! How many packets you brought? There's only one on the shelf at Tesco. Should I drink your wine? Yes. Should I drink my wine? Yes. Oh my god. Now you see it? Now you do. <laughs> Guys, she started her TikTok in 2016. She continued, you're gonna be TikTok famous. <laughs> Good morning. So I'm making my coffee using this almond milk. Yeah, what to do now? <laughs> True whether is this the start of a new vlog or is this a continued Hey guys, good morning. So today is Tuesday and I'm not sure whether is this the start of a new vlog or is this a continuation vlog. I haven't checked the footages of from yesterday yet so I'm not quite sure but still. Good morning. It's currently 7am in the morning. I was just sitting there, I mean at the dining table watching TikToks which it's really bad. <laughs> I'm about to have my breakfast now and I thought I would just start this vlog. My shirt is not trying to stay on my shoulder. Mm. My breakfast is the same as usual, toast bread. I'm also planning to like deep clean the cabinets down here and just to organize everything nicely because at the bottom right, it's like so messy and every time I want to cook, it's always just a mess. This switch right, it can't be closed so it's been like on for weeks. <laughs> it can't be closed and I'm also really scared. Eh, it's so dark. Eh, I think. Dun, dun. By the way, I think 
last month I bought this Natalex butter for only 15 something which is crazy because at Village Grocer this is like 22 something but I bought it at Aeon and then they also have like additional sales like additional savings so this was a steal and I bought two because they can last us a long time and I can also use them for bakings and stuff so yeah really excited about that really happy <laughs> because sometimes this can be really expensive are you done are you done you're gonna pop up three two <laughs> I honestly just hate waiting for it to pop up because I don't want it to catch me in surprise you know but it always just catch me so it's really annoying but yeah mm. Okay, so I just had my breakfast and a quick short review on the 137 Degrees Almond Milk. It really does taste like almond, like it has this nutty flavour which is quite different compared to the So Good brand. I think because it has such simple ingredient list, like only majority almond milk, so it really has this nutty flavour to it which took some time for me to get used to because my coffee started tasting nutty. It has this nutty flavour but it also helps to give it a really strong and rich flavor so I'm liking it so far but anyway just want to let you know that Bean and Bean is still operating as usual so yeah you can still order this is where I store all the leads they're all here I just did my skincare, I did, uh, I mean I showered and everything. I actually gave the penguin a wash. So it's now here. This was the Burger King collection. It might be the Madagascar collection, I'm not sure. And it has like this pocket at the back. Ta-da! Like that. Oh, it's so tiny! I actually lost my dinosaur, the Dino keychain. But now I have this. <laughs> so, I just realized that I do still need to do my assignments even though classes are cancelled. Oh my god, it's so noisy. It's always really noisy. Yeah, I just remembered that I have assignments to do. I kind of forgotten about them until the WhatsApp group starts to talk about it again. I'm already hungry, so I'm eating this Rita Spots. 61% cocoa selection chocolate is really good. It's one of my favorite. Just eating this while they're cooking dinner. Eh, dinner pula, lunch. So my sister has been learning this dance for the past few days and I never bothered to see who are these people but oh my god this is now my favorite Korean song. It's so nice and their choreography is so good. I'm sorry that my hair is always so messy and the background of this shelf is also always so messy I know but it's currently 3.30 p.m. I just poured myself a glass of 100 plus a Delivery just came and it's actually tissue paper wrapper for the Bin and Bin reusable lid set. So basically, I ordered this supposedly the Sunway Reef run. So I wanted to you know make them look more presentable but still in a eco-friendly way. So these are all re reusable. Like these are all eco-friendly tissue paper wrapper. I even hired a designer to just draw some. Can you see the earth? And then we've got the sun over here over there i want it to be more presentable so now that it is cancelled it's okay i'm still gonna find a way because i'm trying to find for like some stockists and everything so yeah, that's really fun they just arrived we do get self pickup orders as well it is normally based at solaris mon chiara to be more hygienic and more presentable as well just more hygienic like actually to be honest um, my mom just sent me a text message saying that australia's prime minister is actually banning all travelers from overseas from other countries to australia for like six months I think I don't think I'll be going to Australia this year guys. I think the main reason why I wanted to go to Australia so badly was because I want to go to the Sydney 
any vegan market I want to try so many food there and since my friend Diana is staying there I also thought that I could you know stay there with her as well because I haven't seen her in such a long time but since that is not happening I'm not sure when but I will still go I will make sure that I go there one day I think many things that I planned for this year didn't work out as I hoped it would you know but I think it's for the better maybe it's a blessing in disguise I don't know I, I, I always try to make sure look at the silver lining of things and try to see the best out of every situation oh my god I just noticed that my scar is actually so red I think when I was sitting here an hour ago it was really painful it was like pulling me Ugh. I just want to know are there anyone out there that are watching this that feels really scared to look at my scar I'm sure there will be some people I mean if I am the one watching myself like I don't know me but I'm watching myself I will still feel a bit like Ugh, you know so Goodbye Horrible! You're sending out the vice <laughs> next <laughs> Can you show me? I'm okay. So my brother got these two ice cream. Yes. And then he got these two ice cream. Yes, we love. And he got beers. No, we don't love. And he got two tattoo lace. Okay, that's all. First of all, before I start this clip, I just want to say sorry that I keep sitting here, but Honestly, there's no way for me to go. Okay, sorry. So I was actually ca uh, called off, called off, called off because there were some orders coming in and I always make sure to, you know, reply and attend to them immediately. Preparing invoice and everything. Where was I? I'm currently on Netflix. I don't actually watch Netflix that much. During the daytime, I normally just do my own stuff, edit video or assignment, sometimes YouTube lah mostly. So I don't really go on Netflix like binge watch Netflix or TV shows, you know. I am about to watch Lock and Key. Yeah, I'm gonna watch Lock and Key. Kingdom just came out with their own, I mean, I mean came out with season 2 but I'm not enjoying it as much. I don't know, I feel like with zombie movies, right, I think one hour is the maximum. If it just keeps dragging so long and then it's so rapid it just keeps killing, killing, killing. To me, it's really boring and I don't think it's worth my time. So I'm gonna give up there. I'm not gonna continue watching. I watched all of the season 1 episode but I also didn't quite enjoy it. I watched it because I had no choice. I'm now watching Friends, The Sinner and just starting Lock and Key. I'm also... Ooh, I'm also waiting for all the episodes of Hi Bye Mama to come out first and then only I'll start watching because because when I watched Crash Landing on You, right, it was so difficult. Like, it's so stressful to wait for every new episode every week. I'm gonna wait till all the episodes are out first, then only I'll start watching. But it seems quite interesting. So I just got an email saying that all online classes are now resumed because at first they were like holding it first. So now it's resumed. Let me see how it works. It's quite interesting. Let's just do this and not go to class. I hope I'm not the only one finding this really interesting because I've never done this before. It's so cool. I can we just do this and not go for class? <laughs> can save my transport money, my uh, time. Very good morning, uh, my dear students here. So, uh, this is so easy, less stressful. But we must. Because there's this one lecturer in the class, right? He always just scream and shout. Not, he, I mean, he has a loud voice, sorry. Not scream and shout. When he talks really loudly, I find it difficult for the things to enter my brain to process it because it's like so loud, you know. But it's the first time that he's teaching in such a soft manner that I feel like I can really learn. I thought I would just quickly end the vlog here because I'm about to go to bed now. I just had a few pieces of chocolates and I'm ready for bed. So I thought I would just end the vlog here. I hope you have been enjoying the vlogs lately. If you haven't already subscribed, make sure to subscribe and, and yeah, just to follow along what I'll be up to during this quarantine. So yeah, um, subscribe if you haven't already. Go follow me on Instagram and I'll see you in the next vlog. Bye.